Um, another tough loss for you guys, Paige. Um, but it feels like you're getting closer. Uh, the last three games have been all been 1-0. You had a shot, really, really close shot that went off the, off the post today. How close does it feel like you guys are to, to finally getting that second win? Yeah, I feel like we have this conversation a lot. But I do think that when you're focusing on the performances, which is what we're focusing on, um, we are progressing, which is positive. But yeah, it is frustrating to be so close, even selfishly for me, um, hitting the inside of the post and then I have a goal. So hitting the outside of the post, it's not a goal. So yeah, um, frustrating, but we are close. We just have to keep focusing on our development during the week and then the, performa uh, the performances will lead to results. And then it really seems like Mandy has just come alive as, as, a, as one of the league's best goalkeepers possibly. Six saves tonight, held, held them to one, one goal when it possibly could have been more. How important is she to this group? Yeah, when she made that huge save in the second half, um, to keep it us one nothing, I looked at her and I was like, that's unreal from you. You know what I mean? Uh, but she does that in training. I've known her for a long time. So to see her grow and to see her develop and just bloom into the goalkeeper she is, um, it's amazing. I'm so happy for her. I'm so proud of her. Uh, but you know, she's not walking with a from the game proud of herself. And that's what makes her a competitor. And that makes her one of the best in the league. Mm -hmm. Hey, Captain. Hey. <laughs> in addition to what Caleb said about Mandy coming up huge, low flow again, another amazing save. The back line came up big to keep as Caleb also mentioned number two spirit to a one zero. Mm -hmm. Talk what you talk about what you've seen from that back line, especially this evening. Yeah, I mean, I think tonight we led in clearances, um, stats wise, but they're just such a gritty back line. And you know what? They're young and they know it and they want to learn and grow. Um, so yeah, really proud of them. Uh, again, they're so they're their biggest critics and they're really hard on themselves. But you know, they're growing and they're getting better every game. So that's being led by Kate and she's new playing center back, but. Um, you know, she's learning and we're just really proud of her to lead our back line and you know, it starts with Mandy and yeah, it's a great group with Anna. It's a huge addition and low flow. Yeah, she's an unbelievable and I don't think she realizes how good she is. So we're really lucky to have her and Zoe, of course. Mm -hmm. We saw Coach A-Rod after the game kind of bring everybody together, kind of spurring everybody on a little bit. Take us inside that moment at least as much as you can, sort of what what's the message after a game like this? Because obviously you've talked about results and everything, but it does feel like this team is, is so close. It's right there, and they kind of have been for the last couple of games. What's What's the continuing message, I guess, from Coach? Yeah, her message is along line that, but just in respect to her and our team, like I'll keep it in the huddle. But honestly, it boils down to, her just wanting us, she knows that we have so much potential and she knows we have so much in us. So she just wants us to keep going and you know, who's gonna get it done and how are we gonna get it done collectively? Hey bitch, hey. Um, can you talk about what impact the heat had on you guys today? I mean, obviously a kickoff, it was pretty warm out there and then cooled down a little bit in the second half, but yeah. you know, yeah, the water breaks today. What impact was the, the heat on you guys? Yeah, I mean, I was cooking on the left side, so that was a lot of fun. Zoe was, was telling me, she's like, oh, the weather's not bad. I'm like, yeah, Zoe, you're in the shade. Come over here, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, the heat's no joke. We knew that. Um, and you know, you can say, oh, it's mental and this and that. But honestly, even in warm up myself, it's like, how can we not let the heat get to us? Like, how can we not be fa fatigued? How can we not be lethargic? Um, so in my opinion, I think it's recognizing that, yeah, it's going to be a hot game. So what does that mean? You know, how can we uh, prepare? How can we have ball security? How can we move the ball to manipulate like the other team to benefit us? Um, so yeah, yeah, it was, it was a cooker. I'm probably sunburned, so. Anyone else in the room? Alex, anything from you? Perfect. Thanks, Paige. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, guys.